What's up YouTube, it's Adrian from MMOS World. Welcome back to the channel. We are taking a first impressions look at Critica Online today. Critica Online of course is by Anmas Entertainment, which is the studio and developers responsible for MMOs like Terra for example. And Critica Online is fairly new, I would say pretty new. It is an online MMORPG, it's 3D, it's all action, flashy combat, anime style, almost cartoon graphics if that's your taste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend about 10-15 minutes just jumping into the game, checking it out, seeing what it's all about and what your opening few minutes is gonna be like. So once you have downloaded this on Steam, yes it is on Steam, you can just jump in but the launcher has some issues, sometimes it goes through, sometimes it doesn't, there's lots of crash issues being reported i'm not sure about that but i have crashed once since trying to get in here so the first thing you'll have to do is to create a, a class there's about five classes here we've got the warrior we've got the rogue and you know each of them Avalar's will have like a backstory took us all by you surprise. can hear that's happening in the His background right now our expectations. well the voice acting is pretty good i suppose to expand my knowledge of magic beyond our ancient books You'll also Magic see like what, what the force. class will do. So you got a Art combat rating here, difficulty as well, survival talented. rating. So I think I'll go with the I I'll go with the warrior, warrior, simply because it's got a higher combat rating and it's like a two-star difficulty. So let's go ahead and jump into this. If you really want to play it, then there's like some sort of a story, a, a backstory for all the classes that you can check out. Now we come to character customization. We can just about zoom in in there. So under head, we're under hairstyle now. We can see what kind of hairstyle there's available for the male character the warrior of course some of the classes as you saw they're kind of gender locked so i don't think you can be like a female warrior which kind of sucks but hey i think asian games has this trend of just gender locking classes which i am not a big fan of so just very generic hairstyles here that <laughs> you know you you're pretty familiar with if you play asian mmos so i'm gonna go with that and i'm gonna turn it white because why the hell not and then under face, you only have one, two, three, four. You've got four options for face. I'm going to go with that one. And you can change your eye color as well. Uh, you can zoom in all the way in. And then just move your mouse cursor to see which, what body part you're adjusting right now. So we'll do that. And chest, you can change your chest, which is basically, I guess, the clothing that you have on. I'm going to go all black. Uh, legs as well. You can do black and black. Now the graphics really, it's got this comic book feel to it, it's got this very anime character style. Um, it's almost, you could consider it as top down ARPG style graphics, I don't know um, what it's going to be looking like in game, but I know it's a full 3D MMO, so let's not, let's hope it does not look disappointing in game. Alright, for character name, I'm going to go with Hathol, and let's go. All right, so I'm on the North American server uh, for Najara level 65. No idea what that is, but that's my character right there. Uh, on the right side here, you can see there is an elite status, which is probably going to be a subscription kind of thing. Elite status benefits. Let's see, 20 XP, uh, boots for hunting mobs, daily bonus, 30 points, da 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 da, 30 die points interesting so it definitely sounds like some premium time or premium status that you can buy there let's go into settings real quick just to see what we have here that is my current graphic settings i was not able to do this in the launcher i was not able to do this on the main menu unfortunately so i'm kind of happy with all these let's jump in and let's see what critic online is all about the people of kiranas lived honest lives in a simple world we farmed, we crafted, we brought our goods to the markets of Capital City, then returned home to the countryside. It wasn't fancy, but we enjoyed happy lives. Abelard, a brilliant alchemist, created Critium, a crystal that let ordinary people add magic to their lives. Critium advanced our technology overnight, Wondrous new machines appeared. Our world was changing. We thought we were in control of it, but we were wrong. Abelard was always way ahead of us. We used Critium to power wagons. He used it to build flying fortresses. 
He promised wealth and comfort, and while many believed him, others grew wary. Now ruler of Kyrenos, he seized control of the Dominion Army. With a powerful army behind him, Abelard crushed descent under his boots. Entire villages vanished for speaking out against him. Then, he unleashed the Titan to silence the last voices of resistance. We did not run. Instead, we took up arms to fight back. Okay, so we had some sort of a story there. Um, voice acting heavy. I kind of like it. It's like, you know, there's a narrator that's narrating the situation right now. How our characters will um, fit into this world where this one, apparently, technology uh, innovative dude turned tyrant. I wonder how our classes and how our characters will be impacted by that. In the background now, you can totally hear some rock music and stuff. I mean, Critical Online, it does have some attitude. The themes and everything, it does have the attitude. So here we are in game. Let's see. We can choose two modes. Now, this is very, if you've played games like Terra or even recent Revelation Online, you know that this is going to be pretty easy. You can either change your uh, FPS mode or Advanced mode, which you have to aim your skills before firing. And this one is just the same direction as the camera, not the character. So I'm going to go with FPS mode. So I'm going to hit Confirm. So WASD to move, so it is a 3D MMORPG, uh, kind of typical with shift. Shift kind of like just jumps forward, so the jump button are these enemies that I can hit. Yeah, these are enemies I can hit. So I'm clicking my left mouse button now, and of course this is based on where you turn your camera, not where your character is. So that's pretty much it. A combo and stuff, multiple combos. Interesting. You can just about hear me smashing my mouse button. So, I, for a game like this, I really wish, uh, or I hope there's like controller support. Let's go to controls. Uh, so you can adjust your hotkeys. Oh man, I don't see any controller support, which would make this so much more better. Okay, so I've got, I've got some skills here. They're under my one, two, three, and four. So let me just see if I can move these around. I'm gonna move that here, and I'm gonna move that here. And that goes here, and that goes there. And I only do this simply because my number one mouse button isn't really working. So I'm gonna use some skills here. Nice. So in, in addition to like your left mouse, your right mouse, you've got all these skills that you can pop off uh, as well. Usually based on you know what class you have. I know there's a range class in there. I saw there was like a gun gun mage or something, which really sounds interesting. But that's that. That's that's the introduction to combat pretty much. Alright, so this should be the intro tutorial and now we are at the boss encounter. Okay, so there seems to be some sort of a dialogue thing popping up. Looks like someone got to take care of it, and that someone is me. And on the screen, you know, it's telling you... Oh, I should probably get out of that. Yeah, just in time. But yeah, you can totally see the combo uh, that they suggest on the screen. I just killed him. He's dead. So stage clear and all these good stuff. Oh, what is this? I'm going to hit F. F seems to be your default key for interaction and for looting as well. And now I've got some cards. Uh, I did not click anything, but it automatically did it for me. And that's done. And it's not open world or, or anything. It's going to be linear. And just just look at that. I mean, the grass and everything here looks pretty decent in terms of graphics-wise. And then you look at that corner over there. It's just like a puddle of mush. That is just... Yeah, graphics could be better. Definitely could be better. Uh, so at the top in the middle of the screen, you can see repair equip uh, for one gold. So you just hit the F1. Apparently that repairs you on the spot. So I guess there's like no need to visit a store or anything to do that. And moving to the next zone is F3. So let's go ahead and hit the F3 key. And now we're moving to the next zone. So I guess basically that's just your tutorial. Uh, introduction tutorial to Critical Online. That was pretty quick.
Okay, so, you know, to the right you can see sort of like your quest objectives. It is to follow the Titan, and the Titan is the big thing in the background. Gosh, I wonder if we get to fight that, because that'll be fun. Oh, looky here. We get a quest. Hey, over there. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you. I'm too hurt to fight, but my buddies need help. Okay, just a minute. So, I mean, these, uh... Oh, here we go, quest log. I'm so glad you came along with the deed. I'm telling you, I owe you one. Okay, what a bore. Uh, hit the left mouse button to go next. We're defending the watchtower from a goblin raid. Blah, blah, blah. Car, blah, 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 blah. I mean, some of these writing, did just... Yeah, I mean, it's it's suitable for, like, the, the theme and the setting and everything. Like, these, it's like bunch of teenagers they're stuck in this fantasy world I mean it's not it's not gravitating gravitating towards me okay so let's see normal what a bore uh, except I'll get gold and XP for that okay, let's do it awesome so now let's jump into the fray and let's fight I wonder if these are other people that are with me right now I don't know Kinda look like NPCs. Ooh, I got hit there. Let's do a two, let's do a three, let's do a four, and let's do a five. Yeah! Eat my combos, y'all. Get rid of this troll now. So, the, the trick is to really just aim. Aim at the, um, at the mobs instead of and that could be that could be really confusing for new players, but you gotta learn how to do that. You just have to look at the direction where the mob is, and then you just start attacking instead of you know what you usually do. There's no radical system or anything to guide you here, like you know Elder Scrolls Online or whatever. There's no such thing. Okay, let me see. I just talked to that guy again. Didn't didn't really do a damn thing. So onward we go. I can see the map. There's like a question mark in the next zone. So let's try and go there. Here we go. Let's kill everything. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Let's fight. And if Terra didn't satisfy you, then probably, probably Critical Line just might. It's got, you know, all the actions and combos that, that you probably like. I can't kill these guys, can I? Yep, I can. And a lot of the monsters, they do have, like, at the middle of the screen, you'll see, like, your health bar. It starts off in a, a different color, and then it goes down a color. So there, it was orange, and now it's green, and now it's red. So that seems to be, like, the style in which they're going for, in terms of how to kill mobs and everything. Is it boss mob now? Yeah, boss encounter. So I'm starting to understand how they're trying to layer their maps. A lot of it's going to be like that. You clear an area, you move forward. Once you hit a certain objective, then you'll be moving to the next. And you, know, you can't really progress to the next map until you finish a map's objective. So, gonna, oh, damn it. I saw I hit the tap button and I did. Is that my HP on the left? 28. Holy crap, I'm out of HP. Alright, let's fight. I can do this, even with the low HP. I don't really see, like, a potion or anything. Oh, I'm down to 6 HP. Holy mother. Let's kill some small fries. Except that the boss is in my face right now. Not good, not good. Yeah, I'm gonna try and finish him off. Come on, let's tango. His health is still up. I'm at zero HP. I'm dead. Haha, <laughs> I have to use a resurrection spell. You have to. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> That's funny. Warriors, I don't see like a healing skill anywhere. But I was pretty close to killing the boss. I mean, I just got back, killed him. And there isn't like a. Um... Oh, okay, here we go. I'll hit the number two. And that gives me a oddly pleasant gauntlet. On the right, you'll see like the score and everything so let me try hitting the I key is that the character sheet yep that's the character sheet and it just totally brings up look at all this crap the tutorial is so unfinished it doesn't even tell you like 
uh, get started on gear and everything. So none of these stuff are actually improvements. So why the hell are they dropping in the tutorial? I mean, it just feels like it's unfinished, you know. So that's pretty much done. I'm gonna have to hit uh, F3 to return to town. So what about the quest that I had with Drewston? Am I am I supposed to go back? Did I did I do it? Yeah, I got him. So I'm guessing I have to go back and turn it in. How does that work? No, I can't go back. That is kind of weird. Okay. Let's see. Let's just hit the F3 button. Let's go to town. Oh, that was the Titan that we were chasing. I don't think that's us. Okay, graphics is getting pretty choppy now. Man, it's one small dude against a huge ass titan. That's never gonna go well. Holy shit. Oh, that's a huge ass cannon. So we're trying to stop the titan from entering that portal. But, you know, the exposition, like, I, I don't know what the Titan's doing. I don't know why we're chasing that Titan. What's going on? A lot of these things are not explained to you in a cohesive way that makes me think that, oh, shit, this game is just for the flashy graphics. It's just for the fun combat, and that's about it. There's no real meat there. All right, what's this? You have gained access to the Thoral perimeter. Okay, you've gained access to Roshan Overlook. Good. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So it's just a bunch of quests that I have now. And now, this is like the main screen that pops up, I guess. What is this? The store promo first purchase. Seems seems like you're a source for updates and news about the game. Uh, also, you know, for a game like this, no daily reward. That's kind of funny. Usually, you know, Asian games that try to reward you for logging in and, uh, you know, coming back once a week, every day of the week to get some stuff. Alright, so Drew Stan is here. Is that the guy we saved? Yeah, it is. Great. So let's complete this. You did it! You killed the Bleed Boar! You're gonna be the hit of the camp. I'll ask one of the men to go and fetch the meat. Bacon for breakfast, boys and girls. Commander Karn is gonna want to talk to you. He's over by the tower. Don't keep him waiting. Or if you do, tell him it wasn't my fault. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the writing. It's just teenage cringe. <laughs> Pretty much just teenage cringe. But uh, we, we got a Soul Jam processor here that looks like a jukebox. I'm not sure what this does. But it, it seems like you know the game will open up pretty early on. You got the enchantment anvil there, which I'm guessing is going to be for gear. And then you've got the... What's what this? do you Let's want, uh, just basic gear and you know they cost gold that seems like the main currency then there's also another currency called uh, what is this cred we both get what probably a premium oh, currency of some sort and I won't be surprised because there seems to be an EMP store which is if you're not familiar with NMAS entertainment games like Terra then the EMP store is pretty much the other premium store so you hit F12 to open that and there you have it, folks. That is your uh, store that you can buy. Uh, you can buy currency for real money and then grab a whole bunch of stuff in here. You got all items. Let's see what bundles they got. This is kind of confusing to look at. Pet utilities. So there seems to be pets in here. Uh, under new items, what do you got? Lucky Pandora. I don't see like gear and stuff in here. Let's go into all items. That's it. But it's got 63 pages. Holy shit. You. You gotta go all the way, but can't really tell if there's gear in here or not, but hey. So, really, basically, all right, let's just talk to this guy real quick. Secure the tower. There, uh, so off. that's the main dude, right? Welcome to the watchtower. Name's Karn. I commence outpost, or what's left of it. You weren't chasing that titan, were you? Why the hell? Whatever. I'm just glad you showed up and you did. Some battle, eh? Don't worry about the blood. It's not that mine. You, on the other hand, I got my rear and handed to me, but not a scratch on you. Unbelievable. Okay, select reward. Let's see. Is there anything that's going to give me... Ah. Okay, let's control. 
So it doesn't really tell me if it's an increase or not, so I'm just gonna go for the resistance chest plate. Quest complete, full of the title. Hey, you used to be one of the Knights of the People. Didn't you? Ah, okay, so, you know, it's it's um, it's translated from Korean, and of course, I don't expect them to get all the translating right, but there's already grammatical issues in here. But again, that's, that's pretty normal when you're playing an Asian M MMO uh, that's been ported over. So you're gonna have to expect to see a lot of that kind of stuff. It's no Titan Punch, but it'll do. Right on. So I mean, we've seen just a little bit. I'm already level four. And it's probably not gonna be that hard to level here. Uh, so yeah, first impressions as far as Critical Online. I mean, I really thought it was gonna be a lot like a side-scrolling ARPG type game, but it's not. It's actually a full-fledged MMORPG. Uh, the movements are, are fluid and everything. The graphics could be better though. I mean, this is. 2017 and this is on Steam right now um, but the good news of having graphics like this is that your older computer and your older systems can run it it just doesn't look great I mean some of the textures like in some areas are pretty cool like you know when you look at this dude and then you look at the background it's just it just doesn't add up but again the real meat and potatoes for almost all and all of N Mass Entertainment's games, like Terra, for, for instance, and now Critica, it's just the combat system. How fun can you make it? How flashy can you make it? And so far, from the opening few fights, the couple of boss fights in the tutorial, I I, I had some fun. I mean, it, it feels great, it control, uh, controls great. I just wish there was a co inbuilt controller support that would make Critica Online way more fun for me, I suppose. But it doesn't have that. Uh, good to see there's some events and everything happening. Uh, I think it just introduced a new class as well recently, so. It seems like it's constantly being updated, but yeah, I mean, so far, if you are looking for an MMORPG to play that's you know, Asian in theme and aesthetics, then Critica could be it. It's uh, it's on Steam, so that is a big plus because of accessibility and ease of download and everything. I don't think it was more than seven gigs. I think Critica Online is. Um, in terms of content and everything, like from the story perspective, from a PV perspective, I think there's a lot to be desired. Uh, the writing just does not suit me. I mean, it's just so cringy sometimes. Even the tutorials are already cringy. I just can't imagine, you know, what what's gonna be like for like the main quest and everything moving forward. So that's my first impressions of Critical Online. Um, if you've been playing this game, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. So hey. Uh, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to MMS World for more MMORPG news, impressions, and all that stuff. As ever, I'm Adrian from MMS World, signing out.